Hey Buzzards! I'm Sapphire and you're watching Toon Buzz on Channel Frederator. Today we're going to talk about sausage parties, conversations with your iPad, and new shows on Nickelodeon. Nitrogen Studios, the Vancouver animation studio behind kid-friendly favorites such as Thomas and Friends and Happily Never After, will now be producing Sausage Party, the raunchy animated film from Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. No, Sausage Party is not about a bunch of bros playing Grand Theft Auto. It's about one sausage's quest to find the truth about his existence. After falling out of a shopping cart, our hero Sausage and his new friends embark on a journey through the supermarket to get back to their aisles before the 4th of July sale. I'm really curious to see how these CGI hot dogs will look like. I mean, the 2D talking hot dogs from regular show were pretty terrifying. And that's a kid's show. And they're planning on making this an R-rated movie. Insert a bunch of inappropriate sausage puns. On the topic of talking inanimate objects, Toy Talk is the family entertainment company founded by Pixar alums Oren Jacob and Martin Reddy. They've just launched their first app, The Winston Show. It's an iPad game, but it's also like a TV game show, but it's also really educational. Basically, it's hard to categorize. The Winston Show is unique in a lot of ways. Young kids can talk directly to the characters on screen in different mini games, and using speech recognition, the characters take their answer and continue the conversation. Jacob said he was inspired by the way that kids talk back to shows like Blue's Clues and Dora the Explorer. Except with The Winston Show, the characters' responses will vary depending on your answer. It kind of reminds me of those choose-your-adventure books I liked growing up. Oh, for you kids that don't know what those are, books are a set of paper that's bound on one side and they usually contain stories. The Winston Show is available for free, so go try it out. Those interactive kids shows didn't exist when I was a kid, but I did watch all the cartoons on Nickelodeon, who, by the way, just greenlit two new animated series. Bad Seeds is about Harvey, a well-mannered bird who befriends the wildest kids in the forest. Through their unlikely friendship, they push each other out of their comfort zones and into endless adventures. It will be directed and written by C.H. Greenblatt, who was the creator of Chowder and has also written for SpongeBob SquarePants. Pinko Banana Cricket is a series of absurd interwoven stories about four friends and roommates, a pig, a goat, a banana, and you guessed it, a cricket. The series is created by illustrator and comic artist duo Dave Cooper and Jay Ryan. The hilarious pilot was directed and animated by Channel Frederator Network member Nick Cross. You can watch the pilot on YouTube by clicking here. Don't be confused, the pilot is actually called Pig Goat Banana Mantis. Why they changed Mantis to a cricket? Maybe crickets are more hip with the kids? Who knows? If you want to read more about these stories, the links are in the description below. Seems like food and movies is pretty popular nowadays, with Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2, and now Sausage Party. What food would you choose to star in a movie? Tell us in the comments. Okay, if I were to pitch a movie starring food, I would pick grapes, and they'd all be driving down the freeway, and then there's this huge accident, and it'll be called Traffic Jam! Oh, and I also have this other idea. Um, where it's like a town and everybody is a banana and it'll be called This is Bananas! 